Jason Chaffetz joins us now. So great to see you. Your thoughts, uh, what would be your line of questioning for the Republican perspective to Robert Hur? Oh, I, I, you want to dive deep into what he was, what was the back and forth between the president to lead to the conclusion that he has a poor memory that he'd be, yeah. And uh, where are those tapes? Is there video of it? Is there audio of it? Why won't they allow Congress to see it? The other thing that's maybe not getting the headline that I think is a big, big line of questioning is how deep was the probe? You know, Joe Biden had these fake emails. And he sent thousands of them. And he had fake names that he was using. He had supposedly, allegedly, had a burner phone. You know, on the case of Donald Trump, they went and got the direct messages coming off of, of, uh, of uh, you know, one of the social media apps. Did they go look at that with Joe Biden? Those are the types of things you got to dive deep on. Why, how, how did he use his fake names? Well, and, and why, as a senator, are you allowed to have these classified documents? You're I mean, not. They, they date back to the Soviet Union and Yugoslavia, <laughs> meetings with Tito. I mean, Joe Biden been in office since 1972 when I was five years old, so, you know, starting to play soccer. He knows the rules. There is no fact pattern, not one, in which a United States senator can be in possession of a classified document, none. How, how hard would you push the Ukraine line of questioning? Because I think a lot of people like Comer and company are looking for that. Yeah, no, absolutely. They're gonna they're gonna dive into the Russia stuff. They're gonna drive, dive into Ukraine, and they're really gonna get after Afghanistan and, and what he was thinking about there. Right. The other thing I want to talk about is Senator Menendez. Uh, he says he won't run again, but he still got. He's still allowed to sit on all the uh, intelligence hearings. He's still allowed to be a senator. Yeah. And among the people who are outraged by this is fellow Democratic Senator John Fetterman. It's clear that uh, my colleagues uh, want to keep him around. And now we have his trial in less than two months, and that's going to handle it. What does it say about this institution that he's still serving in here? I don't know what it says other than that they guess they're just okay with having a sleazeball in uh, the Senate. So he was arraigned yesterday for the third time in six months, pleading not guilty now in obstruction of justice charges. And the guy admit to the guy already admitted I tried to bribe him in cutting a deal with the government. John Fetterman, the moral compass of the Senate Democrats. I mean, it's unbelievable. He should not be there. He sh they should strip him of, of his security clearance. Why is he getting classified briefings? He's up for bribery, for goodness sake. I thought the way the House treated Santos was actually wrong. I think voters should have decided that. And I th I th but they kicked him out fast. How come the Democrats aren't holding Menendez to the same standard that they were yelling about with, with George Santos? I wouldn't mind if this is the first time it happened. It would be like, wow, this, really shock this is the least shocking story in the Senate. Look at his background. <laughs> he got away with a hung jury last time, but who went after him? Jack Smith. Yeah. And he fell short. Yeah. Yeah. Because no. he overcharged. This, these are some, this second set of, or third set of charges that are coming at him right now, this is, this is probably the most serious part. I look forward to your after action report on the Robert Hurd testimony because I know you've been through it. I'll be before. here. All right. Thanks so much.